you know? It's lucky. All right. Once again, we're going to see the end of this age in this lifetime, man. It, ha it has to happen here, man. Okay? So, Jake, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, shut up your idols, shut down your, shr your shrines that you've been praying to, to other gods and so on and so forth, okay? And what? Get this truth, man, while it's still here, okay? Because the famine of the word is on the way, man. Martial law is on the way. Okay? The end of the internet is on the way, man. All right? Which I can go into that as well. All right? All these things, everything that we're saying through the scriptures is essential for your salvation, man. So it would be wise of you to hearken. All right? Let me get this. get this first. This is the book of Isaiah, Yeshaya. Woo, damn. <laughs> yeah, let me get this in the book of Isaiah, chapter 9. Verse 5, Isaiah 9 and 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Okay, so there you go, man. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. Yeah, because when you look at these, these old um, war movies like the Troy and the Gladiator and so on and so forth, what you see, you see, you know, big burly men, tough guys, okay, in, in garments and chain mail. Okay, like these medieval movies or whatever the case. They got swords, they got shields, they got spears, arrows. All right. We got, you know, ancient day world, uh, uh, warfare, man. Okay. And as well, we're confused, noise, and ah, 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 for Sparta, and all of a sudden, not, and all of a sudden stuff, man. All right, that was, that was the ancient way of battle, man. That was the ancient way of battle. All right. But it says what? But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire, okay? This battle, this war is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. What does that mean? 200 million missiles worth of burning and fuel of fire, man. All right? That's what it's going to be with, okay? 200 million missiles are going to strike the whole inhabitable earth, man. Okay? There's going to be a lot of death out here. Okay? You think these other nations are just creating these intercontinental ballistic missiles for no reason? No. You think they're just making it just for show? Absolutely not. They're making these things because they're going to use them. Doesn't that make sense? Here it is, I created a spoon, okay, to, to, make, to make eating food or consuming food easier, all right, consuming certain foods easier, or whatever the case. You think I'm just going to, you know, create it and set it up for display just for people to look at it? No, I'm going to use it. I'm going to mass produce it, and I'm going to get people to use it, man. It's the same thing with the intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right, and all these other, and all these other uh, uh, forms of weaponry that these other nations have been creating, that America has been creating. All right, these nations are about to fight. You know, they're about to fight. All right, in the battle, 
Armageddon. All right, Armageddon. Okay, the mountain of troops. In the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shaphat. All right, these nations are gathering. They're readying themselves for war, man, through the spirit. Okay. But that was the point on that. Now look now what was that in Isaiah? That was that was a beautiful scripture. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 2, verse 17. It says, And the loftiness of men shall be bowed down. And the haughtiness of men shall be made low, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Okay, what? The, the day of the Lord, all right? In the day that this place gets destroyed, all right? In the day that this place finally gets shut down, man, the scriptures say the loftiness of man, the pride of man. Well, matter of fact, let's go into that world real quick, right? We got time. All right, let's go into that world loftiness real quick. All right? What was that, Isaiah 2 and 17? So this is, the, this is the word lofty or loftiness, okay? It says haughtiness. It says um, lofty, loftiness. Then it says pride, yup. So the pride of man pride of man in the day of the Lord is going to be reduced, okay? You strong men, you, you tough guys, y'all are going to be reduced to, 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 to what? Women, man. Women in fear. Okay? That's how bad it's going to be out here. All of you so-called strong men, alright? You tough guys who want to showcase your, your, your bravery. Especially you, you Israelite. You, you guys that know that you're Israelites. Okay? You off Israelite camps, man. All right, you want to look all militarized and uniformed, you know, physically uniformed and ready for war. All right, the Lord is the Lord is going to put how much you boast, all right, in, in your physical apparel to the test, man. You put on the spiked wristbands. Okay, you put on what uh, uh, the, uh, the the bulletproof vest, you want a big combat boots or whatever the case. Y'all look like y'all ready for war, man. So the, what the Lord. The Lord is about to bring war your way. You know? The Lord is about to bring war your way, man. All right? And let's see if your if you, you, you physical uniform, let's see if your physical garments are right, going to mount up all right, with the energy that, that you've been pushing up and what's going to come your way, man. All right, because hey, the truth is, you you guys are you guys who put on those garments, you look foolish, man. You look real stupid. You look real stupid, man. Very foolish. All right, but going back to Isaiah, and this is why what this is why the Lord said the loftiness of man. He said the loftiness of man shall be bowed down, man. All right. You tough guys are gonna be humbled before the Lord, man. You Israelites, who, you you Jakes, who you Israelites who know that you're Israelites, man. You off Israelite camps, you damn tough guys. You're about to bow down to the Lord, man. All right. Fucking spike wristbands and all this other madness, man. Where in the scriptures does it tell you to do that? The scriptures say that we would be prophesying a sackcloth. So why y'all why y'all wear, wearing military apparel, man? Ain't you wearing military apparel? You know, you want to be as Jake's, man, in which we are warriors, man, but we're warriors in the spirit right now, man. Okay? The scriptures say we would be prophesying a sackcloth. So what the hell are you guys doing, man?
I'll get this real quick. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 69, verse 11. I say, it says, I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. Okay, so King David, all right, he said he made his, his garment sackcloth. Man, meaning what? He humbled himself. Okay? He humbled himself before the Lord. Man, King David was a mighty man. King David was a man of the Lord, beloved by the Most High, beloved by the Lord. All right? But King David, what? He, he humbled himself. He gave all honor and glory to the Lord, man. All right? That's right, here we go. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 3. It says, And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. Okay? It's talking about Israel prophesying in sackcloth, man. Okay? The Lord said that we would be doing that in these times. All right? Humbly prophesying, okay? Humbly uh, 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 pushing out right, the, the, the ways, the will of the Most High, man. All right? The scripture said that we would be doing that. All right? And it started with our elders and our apostles, man. You know? Those are the examples that we follow after. Okay. We're going back to Isaiah chapter 2, verse 17. It says, And the loftiness of men shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be made low, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. And the idols he shall utterly abolish. Yeah, these, these, these false gods, man, these idols, these gods that are no gods, all right? The Lord says he's going to do away with them, all right? It says, and they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he arises to shake terribly the earth. Yeah, that, talking about these damn elites, man. All right. You see, the princes and the rulers of this society, they know that they, they, they're setting America up to go to war, man. And what are they doing? They, they start an abandoned post and go hide in their underground bunkers, okay? Or go establish them so they can hide in them. All right? Because they know what's about to come, man. All right? So they say nothing. They bunkers to go, you know, uh, duck out in when that time comes, which that's not going to save them. And the scriptures talk about that. All right? It says when he arises to shake terribly the earth. Yeah, the Lord is about to shake this place up. Okay? Once again, 200 million missiles are going to strike this place, man. All right? The scriptures say the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, man. You know? And since so many of them walk around, oh, no, like one of these homeless individuals, you know, drunk off of whatever, okay? And they just rocking to and fro. Like I said, like a drunkard, man. They just rocking to and fro. All right? The Heavenly Father and the Son is about to shake this place up. All right? Verse 20, it says, Isaiah 2 and 20. In that day, a man shall cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold which they made each one for himself to worship to the moles and to the bats. So, yeah, meaning what? Israel, okay? Man in general is going to, you know, throw away the, 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 the uh, uh, false idols and so on and so forth. Okay, but mainly you jakes, man. You're going to throw away these false gods, man. All right, the gods of Islam because, I, I, and I'll say this too, man. Jake, Jake is real heavy into that Islam shit, man. Jake is very heavy into that. You know, Islam wasn't created for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But that's a lesson for another day. 
All right? That, that wasn't created for you, man. That was actually created to combat you, to combat the scriptures, man. They'll call the Quran the good book. All right, and this is just, oh, that's just the Bible. You know? But like I said, that's the topic for another day, man. All right? But you jakes out here, you know, worshiping gods that don't belong to you, man. All right? And the Lord, and, and the Lord what? Is, the Lord is going to see you for that. It says, Isaiah 2 and 21, to go into the clefts of the rocks and into the tops of the rag rocks for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. It says, cease ye from men whose breath is in his nostrils. For wherein is he to be accounted of? Well, that was the point. Okay. The scripture says, cease ye from men whose breath is in his nostrils, man. All right. Because what? In the day of the Lord, we won't be able to trust anybody, man. We're going to have to find our own salvation. You people are going to be running, uh, running around bugged out, trying to figure out what's going on. And why you're not prepared? Well, here's the preparation right here. You know, as we always say, get it while you stay, while you still can, while it's still available, man. All right, because prophecy is jumping off the pages, man, popping up like popcorn. The Lord ain't playing with this place, the demise of this place. All right. All right, America's about to receive one hell of a curb stomp, man. It's about to be ugly out here. You know? But that was the point on that. All right? Let me get this in the book of Zechariah, Zechariah, chapter 14, verse 1. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. Okay, the, 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 the other nations, man. The so-called whites, the so-called Arabs, the Chinese. Okay. So-called Africans. Are all these nations that's against Jerusalem. The scriptures say what? It says, for I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. And the city shall be taken. And the houses riffled or rifled. And the women ravished. And half of the city shall go forth into captivity. And the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle. Okay, so that's what these other nations did to our people, man. They ravished our women, men and children. Okay. They, they took crafty counsel against us, man. As the scriptures say. They took, they took crafty counsel against us. They plotted against us to destroy us, to cut us off from being a nation. Now the Lord is saying what? He's going to rise up against them. Okay? The Lord says he's going to rise up against them. You know? And let me get this too. Okay? About how the Lord is going to, is going to what? It's going to justify us in the day of his coming. And how the Lord is going to fight for us, man. Because the scriptures say what? The scriptures uh, talk about how, how vengeance is the Lord's, man. All right? So the Lord is going to pay us back. The Lord is going to fight our fight. Okay, considering what these other nations did to us, man. The Lord is going to fight for us. But let me get this real quick. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? How are you? I'm all right, man. I'm just wondering what you're all about. All right, copy, copy. Well, so I'm, I'm out here. I'm out here, you know, uh, going into Israel. All right, I'm talking about the, the true chosen people of the Most High. Who are the Israelites? Yes, sir. You know, not the people over there in that land today. Those are not the true chosen people of the Most High. Okay. So what I do, I come out, you know, every Saturday, as much as I can help it, to, you know, talk about what's about to come to America, which according to the Bible, 
has been identified. Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, you can actually look that up on Google. Um, Egypt and Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, because you won't find the, the word or the name America in the Bible. Yeah. So it's just... Well, there's it's, no doubt about that. Right. I mean, right. What's your, what's your true message? Like, the, the Bible. You believe in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, I, I believe in the Bible. And my message is, my message is that salvation is coming to the people on the sun. So-called, which you can see for yourself, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yeah. Salvation is coming to these people. And, and a lot of them have been scattered. Like, we've been scattered among the Irish, the Africans, the, um, the, uh, the, the Chinese, the Japanese. We've been yeah. scattered all over the place. I understand. You know? So I'm coming out to prophesy the salvation, you know, of these people. I, I have a, a very dear friend uh -huh. who's been the head of a, a Latin correlation for like a long, long time. He's been fighting for the Latin people to get their rights and their their stuff incorporated into everyday life. Okay. Um, if, if you want to look them up, you can look them up. I, I, I deal with them every day. He's my brother. Okay. Brent? A. Wilkes, W. I. Brent, B. R. A. B. R. E. N. T. Uh huh. A. Wilkes, W. I. L. K. E. S. He's the head of the Latin Court. Um, head of the Latin. Latin American citizens. Yes. Brent. Brent Ashley Wilkes. Brent Ashley, not the other one. The one who died a while ago. This yeah. is this is my brother, Brent Ashley. Yes. Uh, yeah, he's Correct. on Wikipedia. Okay, copy that. All right. And he's been fighting for the Latin American community for uh -huh. a long, long time. Like, longer than you and I have been alive. He happens to be the brother of the woman I'm dating. And he feels so passionately about this stuff that he's, he's like created this whole coalition and you're welcome to like go and see him you're welcome to like join him and he's got resources beyond me beyond me and you right. beyond like he's top of the government top of top of it and he's, he's actually been in the government like so my only issue with that is because because me and him, we're not on the same page. I mean, I get it, he's fighting for the Latins and stuff like that, but our people, like the so-called Latin tribes, that's not their original name. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with that. And things of that nature, and the way he's fighting, he's fighting a, a carnal, a, a fleshly battle. Even though he's fighting within the government, things of that nature, you see this government, this government is not for our people, you know? Okay. So, so and this, this government has, has been committing atrocities against our people. Oh, yeah. But the way he's going about it is the only way he knows how to. So I understand that. You know, but the, the fight, the true fight, the true battle, the true justice is, is in the scriptures. It's for our people. We're fighting by, by way of the spirit because war is coming to America. You know, and our people, it, our people without, because a lot of them don't know that this fight that's coming to America, it's not, it's not a fight that we're supposed to be in. Like the physical fight, like the army and the right. Marines and yeah. stuff. Fuck it's not that. a physical fight. I know. You know? I know. It's mental. It's a... It's, uh cultural it's a fucking it, I, it's I understand a spiritual you fight it's a spiritual, spiritual fight you know yes, and dude. this is how i'm fighting right here because we've tried you know the, the black panthers and the million man marches and so on and so forth right. so-called negroes latinos and native americans we've tried all of those things but none of them have ever prospered none of them have ever worked you know so and, and a lot of us of course didn't know but it's just like, okay now what do we do now and so right. what, we, we the, the, the Lord, I believe the Lord put the spirit on me to, you know, be able to understand his Bible enough to know that I have to fight by way of the scripture, by awesome, way of the man. spirit. I'm listening. Yes. This, you is, know? this is awesome. Like, I, I respect exactly what you're doing here. And I, I understand what you're doing here. And that is, that is phenomenal. Um, I, I want to help you. I don't know how to help you, but I think you're doing it's God's work right you, now. You, you, you want to help me? You want to help me because I don't know. I don't know what your lineage goes back to and stuff like that. Because, like I said, I got. Are you mad at me? No, no, no. no. Like, no, are you no. mad at me because, because of my heritage? Like, you don't know me. You don't. We've never met before. Uh -huh. All this stuff. Like, well, are, you, are you mad at my lineage? That's the thing. I don't know what you go back to because you could be my brother or you could be my enemy. I don't know what you go back oh, to. Yeah. So, so and like, like the like. For example, our natural. 
our natural enemy, according to the Bible, is Esau Edom. Do you know who Esau Edom is? No, I do not. So Esau Edom, and I'll, I'll go ahead and get this, right? In the book okay. of Genesis, it goes back to the beginning, right? The, the whole, you know, all the hatred between, you know, the so-called blacks and the so-called whites and so on. This actually shit. goes back to the, yeah, it, it is, it is shit, but it goes back to the scriptures. Okay. You know, right? So let me get this real quick. Just identifying Esau Edom. I get along with my neighbors just as well as you probably do. Uh -huh. We we live in a certain culture. Like, I have no problem with anybody I work with, anybody I live with, anybody I am neighbors with. Uh huh. I welcome. You like peace. You like peace. I love peace. Man. Yeah, and yeah. I, I would get along with you, and I would cook dinner with you, and we would share meals, and we would do all this stuff together because I'm a people person, and. All this stuff that goes back way lineage, I, I I don't have a problem with it, but I I like I, I want peace like right now, like right now. And, and, and this is why, and, and I'll get to because you asked me earlier, you know, how can you help me and things of that nature? Let me get this first, and then I'll tell you how you can help me, right? Let, let, let me get this real quick. All right. This is the book of Genesis, chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-five. It says, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. Okay, now this, this happened. This child that was first born, it was born of Isaac and Rebekah in the Bible. All right, so the first child that came out, he was red all over like a hairy garment. Now, when you look at, <laughs> you at so-called white people today, you know, they, they don't have any melanin. So, so You're looking at me. Right, right. Like, you, you don't have any melanin, right? There. Now, check this out. It says... And they called his name Esau, which the name Esau is like Shashua, which means wasted away because he didn't have any pigmentation. Okay. Right? Okay. Now here's the description of his brother. It says, and after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. So now Jacob, Jacob didn't have a description. Why do you think that is? He was red all over. No, no, Jacob. Jacob. Why didn't they, why didn't Jacob have a description? As opposed know. to his, so Jacob didn't have a description because he looked like everybody else at the time who was dark skinned. But the reason Esau was uh, uh, was um, uh, more specifically described is because he didn't have any pigmentation. So that's that's just from a physical sense how you can tell the difference between Jacob and Esau, or the so-called black man and the so-called white man. Now, like I said earlier. We have brothers and sisters that look like so-called white people, that look like so-called Asians, and so on and so forth. So that's why I said whatever your lineage goes back to, because I don't know who you go back to. You know? Like, you're like a lot of the Irish, those are our brothers, because the Moors that ruled over there in Spain and Europe and things of that nature, they ruled for, you know what I'm saying, like a few thousand years. But, but does it matter in, in today's world? Like It does matter. It does. It does. It, right. it does because it, it goes. It goes back. It goes back to, to bloodline, and All not right. even. I'll say. I'll say this too, right? A lot of our people are not going to be saved. So even a lot of our people are going to be destroyed because they're not going to turn to worship the Lord. So if they're going to be destroyed for not turning to worship but, the Lord, but, how but much more the ones? But if I'm different than to? you, and, and and you look back and you you find out that I'm different than you, I'm way different. Like uh -huh. I come from that red bloodline, whatever. Uh -huh. I'm way different than you. But we believe in the same things today. And we kind of come together today. And I, I believe that we, we can actually coexist uh -huh. and, and be brothers today. You, you, said, you said if we believe in the same thing, right? Correct. So if we would believe in the same thing together, then that means you would be my brother. Because it's, it's, it's the spirit. That's, that's it's where I'm spirit. going. It's okay. the spirit that bears... I, I'll, I'll, go, I'll prove it. This is the book of Romans, because like I said, this so so, uh -huh. so I, I'm I'm confused about why you might like judge me pre pre like knowing me. Uh -huh. Like and, and you would like look at my skin and you would look at me and maybe my lineage does come from a huge line of fucking terrorists and fucking huge assholes. Uh-huh. But that's not me. I've learned, I've evolved, I've been comfortable with myself for a long time and I I had to climb into this thing it yeah. didn't come easy for me but I climbed into this thing softly and I came in and I, I, I appreciate everything that's going around me maybe I met you today and maybe 
you and I can be okay with each other. Excuse like, me, excuse me. Yeah. We'll let this pass real quick, because I, I won't be able to hear you very well. Yeah. and bloody and white and black 